There's one detox diet that is way better than any of the others out there, so today I'm going to tell you about it. So recently I got a request to do a video on the master cleanse and I thought you know what instead of talking about one cleanse or detox diet in particular let's just talk about them overall because this is a great chance to discuss this topic and also for me to share with you the absolute best detox diet out there. So in addition to the master cleanse which is where you drink this concoction of lemon juice and maple syrup and cayenne pepper all mixed in water and you don't eat any food there are a lot of other cleanses and detoxes juice cleanses are particularly popular. Um, they have been for the past few years now and in those types of cleanses what you do is you know you drink these juices instead of eating food sometimes for three days or seven days or 14 days or something like that and usually they're juices that are mostly vegetables not a ton of fruit going on in there. And of course there are a lot of other detoxes and cleanses out there so if you have tried one let me know what you tried in the comments. Now the basic idea behind any of these cleanses is that you need to eliminate eliminate or at least severely reduce the amount of food that you're bringing in so that you can give your body a chance to rest, give your digestive system a chance to rest, and also give your body the opportunity to get rid of any toxins that are built up in your system. The problem is that isn't really how your body works. The truth is detox isn't something that just happens at one point in time. It's something that's continually happening inside your body because your body has organs that remove all of that unwanted junk all the time, mainly your kidneys, your liver, and your intestines. Your kidneys and your liver filter out waste, break it down, and get it packaged up to leave the body. And your intestines take the nutrients out of your food, but then let all of the other unwanted stuff leave the body. Also, the fiber in your diet pushes through your intestines to keep things nice and clear. So with all this in mind, that means that the best detox diet is one that naturally supports these organs so that they can do their job day in and day out. So so this is a diet that's balanced and healthy, has plenty of fruits and vegetables, pastured animal products, and doesn't have a lot of junk in there. So basically real whole foods. Now if you need some ideas or inspiration for what a diet like this actually looks like, then you should definitely go over to my Instagram if you're not over there already because a lot of what I share there is the food that I'm actually eating. So that's a good place to get ideas for real whole food meals that are nourishing, satisfying, and they taste really good. And also keep in mind that in addition to the food part of this, you also just want to be doing things that are good for you, like being physically active, doing exercise that you enjoy, getting the right amount of sleep for you and good quality sleep, and also managing your stress, all that kind of stuff. So now that we've got all of this covered, if you go back and think about, you know, the detoxes and cleanses that you see out there a lot of the time, they're really just starvation diets and sometimes they also have laxatives mixed in. And when you do those types of detoxes and cleanses, you know, your tummy gets flatter because you're not eating any food, so there's nothing going on in there. And also, if you're taking laxatives, then that kind of gives you the illusion that you're clearing things out and getting things nice and clean, but really, you're just taking laxatives. And if your body is healthy and you're eating healthy, then you shouldn't need laxatives to poop. Also, another thing to look out for is recipes that have detox or cleanse in the name. Now, some of these are absolute junk, but a lot of them are just generally healthy recipes. You see, what happens is someone has a healthy recipe they want to share, but they end up putting detox or cleanse in the name just because they know that a lot of people are looking for those buzzwords. Unfortunately, for a lot of people, healthy soup recipe isn't as enticing as detox soup recipe. You'll also see this a lot with fruit-infused waters. When I made a video like that, I decided to call it spa water in the title, but a lot of people will refer to it as detox water. And this is just the same sort of thing. And in a way, I think this can be good because if you think about it, you know, the people who are looking for the detoxes and the cleanses, maybe they see one of these just overall healthy recipes and they do that instead of doing one of these weird starvation, not so healthy things. At the same time though, I worry that continuing to use detox and cleanse and the titles of recipes and articles might just perpetuate this myth that we need to do special things to help our body detox when really our body is doing that all the time, 
on its own. We just need to take care of it so it can do that. And I'd love to hear what you think about that in the comments. You know, do you think it's a good idea to put detox in these titles if it's just an overall healthy thing to get people there? Or does it keep these kinds of myths going that detox is a thing that we even need to do? It sounds like Pornji, my kitty cat, definitely has some thoughts on that. But I hope you like this video. And if you happen to be new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info, healthy recipes, answers to your questions, then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated and I want to show you how to do it. And if you're loving the free info here but you're finding that you need something more personalized, don't forget that I do offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching and counseling. So if you're interested in working with me, then just let me know and we can get that set up for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.